Hello everybody on YouTube land, Memphis here, coming at you live to talk about the newest number monster, number 67, Paradise Smasher. So I'm just going to look up this card real quick, I'm going to give you my opinion of it. Oh, and uh, this is mine, by the way, looking her butt. <laughs> my pupper here, she's not feeling so great. I figured I'd put her in a video. Good pupper. Ah, silly dog. Alright, so, number 67... Paradise Smasher. I get it. Shut it now, Mom. Okay, yeah, I see where they were going with that, too. So, yeah, other than this thing having a very punny name, uh, let's see what we got here. We got a Light Fairy, rank 5, 2100 attack and defense. Uh, not that great. What do you do? 2 plus level 5 monsters. Okay. Once per turn, main phase 1, you detach 2. Each player rolls... A six sided die twice. Player with the higher roll can I debate monster effects or declare tax at the end of the next turn. Very interesting. Once return one of this card as material, if a player rolls a die or dice, you can treat one of those die results as a seven. Alright, so this is some sort of weird gimmicky lockdown dice card. I don't really get it. Most dice cards are about either attack boost or some form of burn. So I don't really know what uh, they were going for with this thing here. I mean, it is a light attribute, so obviously it has outside support, such as the ever-popular Honest and whatnot. But uh, I don't see this thing being used in anything other than some sort of gimmicky lockdown deck, really. I mean, I play Gamble on occasion. It's fun to do. But I would never run this thing. Not just because it's some sort of weird Goblin Hermes with a giant dice hammer thing. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that, really. And let's see. Now, the biggest problem with this card, other than, you know, the awful effect, and uh, obviously these stats are no good, is its rank. This is a rank 5 light exceed monster. And let us not forget the fan favorite, Cyber Nova Dragon. So long as Cyber Nova Dragon exists, all rank 5 exceeds that will ever be created in Yu-Gi-Oh! will be compared to Nova. And I say it's safe to say that so long as Nova exists, no one in the right mind is going to play this card. Like, why would you? If you have the option to go into Nova, you're going to have the option to go into Infinity. Why would you go for this thing? I mean, it's just a bad idea. It really is. I'm sure, you know, there are new dice cards coming out. I know there's that uh, Summon Dice. I know uh, Orgoth the Relentless is coming out. Does this thing work with number 7? I don't think it does. If it does, it's still bad. Because you'd still have to bring this out and that. Meaning you'd have to run level 5 and level 7 monsters in the same deck. It's not a good idea to do that. It's already hard enough to summon number 7. On top of having to summon all those monsters, plus Link monsters. So, number 67 is very weird. And I think that uh, Konami really kind of missed the mark on uh, what a good dice effect is supposed to be. Why did I do the fingers on that? A good dice effect. There you go. So, uh, I'm going to compare this real quick to the number 67 I made for my original uh, numbers review series that I did. Which is... In my uh, personal opinion, and by personal opinion I mean delusional delusions, is the reason we're getting this thing. I got number 67, Grand Maester Karibo. And with, you know, links being what they are, I would prefer to put Maester as a link now, now that I think about it. But uh, even if we had, you know, no links, let's say, I would still prefer Grand Maester being an exceed. To this piece of garbage. This is not a good card. It is a very weird card. I'm sure some person is going to make some sort of weird gimmicky deck over this. But uh, I'm not going to be that person. And, um, hmm. I'm not going to say this is a waste of cardboard because that's a bit too mean. I mean, it's still better than Gold Rat, in my opinion. Not by much. Not by much. Just by a little bit. 
So, yeah, those are my thoughts on this card. It's very weird. And I'm sure the next month or two we're going to get another number. And I will look at that too. But that's just what I do. So, thank you all for watching. If you've stayed this long, <laughs> please let me know in the comments what you think of this guy. And consider subscribing. If not for me, then for a little mile over here. Isn't that right, Maya? Get them peoples. Alright, I'm going to see y'all later, guys. Y'all have a great day.